Blood pressure is pressure exerted by the blood against the walls of blood vessels when the heart pumps blood through the circulatory system. Normal blood pressure level is less than 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury. This is 120 millimeters of mercury, the upper reading. This is the systolic pressure, the that is the arterial blood pressure during ventricular systole. And the second reading, 80 millimeters of mercury. This is diastolic pressure, that is the arterial blood pressure during ventricular diastole. Blood pressure varies in different blood vessels. Cross-sectional area or total cross-sectional area and velocity, blood flow velocity are inversely related. When the total cross-sectional area is low, blood flow velocity is high. When diameter of blood vessels decreases, the resistance increases and blood flow velocity also decreases. Blood pressure is highest within aorta because aorta is connected directly to the ventricle of the heart. In the aorta, total cross-sectional area is low and blood flow velocity is high. Blood pressure decreases as the blood enters arteries and arterioles because arteries and arterioles are smaller than the aorta. Aorta branches into arteries and arteries branches into arterioles. Arterioles have high total area and this slows down blood flow velocity. Blood pressure decreases further in the capillaries. Capillaries have the highest total cross-sectional area and narrow diameter. Narrow diameter increases resistance. So, blood flow velocity is the slowest in the capillaries. And this allows time for exchange of gases and nutrients in the capillaries. From capillaries, blood flows into venules veins and vena cava. Total cross-sectional area decreases in the venules and veins. Vena cava have the lowest total cross-sectional area. Low total cross-sectional area, blood flow velocity increases. But it is still much lower than in the aorta. Blood pressure drops even further in the venules and almost zero in veins and vena cava. Veins carry blood to the heart and they have thin walls and large diameter. Since blood pressure in veins is relatively low and blood flow velocity is much slower than that in the aorta, there are a few factors that enhance blood flow in veins. Veins have valves that prevent backflow of blood, keeping blood flowing in one direction. Blood flow in veins is also enhanced by muscle contraction and relaxation. When muscles contract, upper valve opens and lower valve closes and prevents backflow. When muscles relax, vein expand, lower valve opens, and blood from below fills the expanding vein, while the upper valve closes and prevents backflow of blood. Another factor that enhances blood flow in veins is respiratory movements during inhalation. When we inhale, thoracic pressure falls and chest expands. Thoracic vena cava also expand and filled with blood. Heart rate can be measured by counting the pulse. Pulse is rhythmic bulging of the artery walls with each heartbeat 
during ventricular systole. Pulse can be felt by placing the tip of the pointer finger and index finger on the pulse points. There are a few pulse points. The most commonly used to check for pulse is radial pulse. Blood pressure can be measured using a sphygmomanometer. Sphygmomanometer is an inflatable cuff attached to a gauge. The cuff is wrapped around the upper arm. When the cuff is inflated, the pressure in the cuff is greater than the pressure in the brachial artery, which is greater than 120 millimeters of mercury. Artery closed and no blood flows through the artery. When the cuff is slowly loosened, blood pressure in the brachial artery is greater than the pressure in the cuff. Blood begins pulsating through the artery. Blood pressure is recorded as systolic pressure when a clear tapping sound is heard using a stethoscope. When the calf is loosened further, blood pressure in the brachial artery is greater than the pressure in the calf. Blood can now flow freely through the artery. The sound can still be heard and becomes louder and later disappear. Once the sound stops, blood pressure is recorded as diastolic pressure.